Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill and uh, we finished the Lilac Farmstead on Sunday. And so we're going to pick up where we left off and uh, move on to something new. I've got a few server errands to run. I've got some cleanup to do. <laughs> Clean up an aisle seven in uh, in front of the main, the main gate. But uh, all of this is looking pretty nice. Really happy with the way that this turned out. But we are going to move on. And I'm still undecided if I'm going to move on to renovating and changing this neighboring farm and finishing that up. Or if we're going to move uh, west and take a look at what I guess is going to be a pumpkin farm. It's probably going to be multiple things. But there's this area here, which you can see on the map, uh, that needs to be sorted. I may expand it. I, I like the idea of doing something a little bit smaller. That was quite a large plot of land. So I feel like this might be fun to do on a smaller scale. Uh, and first we'd have to figure out if this is exactly where we want the farmhouse to be, what it's going to actually involve, what the bank is going to look like. Do we want this to expand a little bit farther? Maybe take the wall right down to the, to the river? I don't know. So there's a bunch of things that I've not yet sorted out. But these pumpkins were naturally here. I think I've moved them a little bit, but this was a natural spot for pumpkins. So I thought that would be kind of a cool idea to just kind of lean into what Minecraft had given us. But the inventory is still very full from last time and we've got to go get pumpkins anyway. So we might as well make like a small shopping list for the things that we need. Uh, those put some stuff away might actually get some more azalea now that I look at it No room in the candle box. I guess I'll put that in here for now. Try to narrow this down, excuse me, <clears throat> to something usable. Those are just extra bows extra books So I know my toolbox is something that I left at the gold farm. So we'll go get that. And in the process, we will also grab some pumpkins from the pumpkin farm in the meadows. I don't think, well, the grass could be emptied, I guess. And we'll get some more moss as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring the shulker boxes with me that I want to fill up with things. It's probably the best idea. Uh, that I think is supposed to stay in here. Might as well just take those with us. We'll eat them along the way. And spare blocks. All right. Let's start by putting as much of this back in here as normally goes. So these normally go in there. So does that.
Don't remember where I normally put the wool. I think I just keep the furnaces in here, memory serves. All right, then all this goes back inside the keep. Should have enough inventory space. It'll be really fun to finally texture all these roads. Oh, no, I guess I don't have enough inventory space. I don't think any of these really go in the ender chest. I guess I could put one in there temporarily. Sorry, right, I'll just put one down here. Uh, do I have moss, uh, azalea? Do I pick up the grass one? I did. Okay, grass and dirt. Hope I didn't leave anything behind. Oops. So we've got some bulk storage for anybody that doesn't know here underneath the graveyard in the crypt. And it's a lot harder to do when your inventory is full, but if I put that all on the ground, and I should just be able to put this in here. Cool. Gives me some room. Dirt only had the one line, so I think we're good there. I just want to fly over the front again just to make sure I didn't leave a shulker box there. Nothing floating on the ground. Yeetha MC, hello, welcome in. Alright, uh, start putting some of these away. I know this is a pretty chill chill stream, but uh, I think that a lot of times you, know, you don't get to see the process that some creators go through in their organization or how they plan the next build, all that stuff. I like to share this kind of stuff whenever I can. <clears throat> I guess some of these probably go in the bottom row. Uh, grass, ma moss I'm keeping. We need more of that. Dirt and coarse dirt. Carve deep slate, cut stone. Salt, probably there. And then chests and things. 
roots and stuff. Mangrove roots. I guess I could put those here. Storm Dance, good to see you. All the work that goes in between, yeah, and I think it goes a long way. Like, I think one of the reasons that I can build relatively efficiently the fact that I have so many blocks at my disposal at this stage is because I take the time to make sure that I know where everything is most of the time. <laughs> he says that as he he knows he's about to embark on an adventure to go and retrieve the shulker box that he left in the farm. <laughs> I think we're good. I do know where it is. So it's not lost. It's just that it's not here. The real pain is going to be like all these mini blocks and these odds and sods. That's going to be the, the hard thing. To deal with all right backpack stays up there this is mangrove go there jungle wood and then i've got mud tables and chairs stone mini blocks in the satchel so the stone mini blocks that's a good one to have around here. And I guess I just have to figure out if any of these also go in there. Just a couple. So we've got to put all of these back. And then these can go wherever I find spots. I don't care about this. Don't care about the llama head either. Seeds. I feel like that's over here somewhere. I already have 64, so it doesn't really matter. We'll just put those in here. Looks like we're good for paper and rockets and stuff, so that's good. And then leads, I saw somewhere. There they are. Leather. Llama head. Go swim with your friend. All right. Let's just armor and puzzle. Okay, so we'll take this and a nice empty satchel. And I guess in the satchel, is where we're going to put things like um, pumpkins and stuff. So I'm just going to bring a jack-o'-lantern just to remember that I need pumpkins. I already have the moss box with me, so we'll refill on the moss. Is there anything else that I'm low on that I can't just grow here? 
Lots of wood. Uh, not so much on spruce, but we can grow those easy enough. Dark oak we're low on. Gravel? How are we doing for gravel? I think this is full. Well, not full, but full enough. Good on andesite. That's good to know. Cobble, we're good. Tough. Deep slate. We've got shulker boxes and shulker boxes. Lord knows we have enough grass and dirt. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks very much. Uh, Perina, I think that's how you spell your name or sound, uh, pronounce your name. Thanks very much for the follow. It's kind of you. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh, nothing else across here, I don't think. Oh, those we can do with mossy stuff. I don't have a lot of vines, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so I need vines from somewhere. There's a jungle tree in the meadows we might be able to use. Got lots of flowers now. Uh, let's... Might as well top up an azalea since we're going. Won't take long. And I can now craft dirt, so that's fine. Lots of all of those things. Uh, mud, mangrove stuff. Not bad. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't think there's anything really glaring, anything missing that I'm noticing. So, not a big supply run. I uh, I might as well get some paper and some gunpowder just to say that I did. If you need a place for any extra flowers, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Storm Dance, yes, we have the vine growth turned off. So I think the problem there is that it limits our ability to get new vines with the exception of growing jungle trees and then shearing the vines off of the jungle tree before you cut them down. I think that's the only real way to do it. So we'll dump off these mini blocks here. Mostly brown, it looks like. Some of them are player heads. Oh, they're all player heads. Never mind, that was easy. I think in future data packs it won't uh it won't need that like the the renaming thing won't won't be a problem it'll retain the name of the block once it's placed all right road trip that looks really cool walking towards the finished farm it feels really uh, deep, I guess, in detail. Oh, you can craft vines on Infinity Co. That's an interesting idea. That's a good. That's a good call. What would be a good way to do that? bone meal and a vine in your inventory equals two vines that would be a really good way to do it one moss plus one string equals two vines oh interesting We use a recipe on the Citadel for string and wool. 
so you can craft wool into string and you can get um, string down into wool as well. I think I might have um, accidentally increased my mic volume. How's everything sounding? Is it good? Too loud? Unfortunately, my mute button on the mic is, is also the volume button, so there's a real good chance when you press in the volume button to mute, you also increase the gain by accident just by nudging it left and right by accident, you know, in the process of pushing in the button. I really feel like it should be a separate button. Sounds good to you, Cosmic? Well, you're here all the time, so you would know. Thank you. For anybody that does not know, we do have fast travel commands on the server because it separates the zones that we have themed on the server by a couple thousand blocks or 10,000 blocks. It's very nice in that way. Keeps your skyscrapers far away from your castles. So first stop is we'll go to the gold farm and we'll get the uh, the shulker box that I want. I don't think I need to repair anything. I think I'm pretty good. Well, if I did, <laughs> there's lots of XP hanging around. And here's my shulker box <laughs> that I mistakenly left. Yeah, everything with mending, I think, is back up to pretty much full. So we're good there. So I can actually take some things out of here. Um, I guess I should probably just leave these things in here. I use them the most. I should probably have this on me, though. This can go back in there. Uh, I mean, my pickaxe has used a little bit of repair, but nothing crazy. I don't think I really want to do that right now. All right, that's done. Anybody leave me any gold presents? Yes, they did. I will steal those. Thank you very much. Finders keepers. Not enough. Good. That's done. Putting ender chests in all of your farms is one of the best ideas you could ever have. CJ! Hello, hello. How's your Thursday going? Hope you're having a good one. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you as well. Gunpowder. I don't know if we have many farms in here. I have gunpowder. Oh. Missing some glass. And some andesite, it looks like. No, just green glass and clay. Wonder if I have that handy. Somebody was obviously being shot at. Uh, green glass and clay is the real question. Yes, I do. Look at that. Let's 
Ah, the culprit has outed themselves. Twas cosmic. Well, this way, if I repair it, then it doesn't end up looking like flowers. So, win-win. <laughs> Another really good idea for your builds is like keeping a small storage room nearby in case you have like a creeper explosion or whatever and you can just pop in and repair the damage uh do we have any gunpowder in here we do sneak that away didn't see any paper no i don't imagine No, we're good. Okay. How are these for storage? Woo. That's really low. This is more than half full. Okay. <clears throat> or turn it pink. Yes, that would have been the other problem. That would have been the other problem. Also a dead giveaway as to who, <laughs> as to who blew it up. If that was the uh, result. That's a really nice screenshot. Uh, I'm going to steal two stacks of dark oak logs. And I want to say I have enough dark oak saplings, but let's just take half a stack just in case. Gunpowder should be here. I don't know whether this has been staying loaded or not. And unfortunately, that is a very small jungle tree. Maybe we'll try and grow one. Oh, did I know that we had a cherry wood grove? I didn't know we had one of these. That's cool. As a nice little calming ambiance before the, the creeper farm. Oh, good. Lots. Lots of stuff. Let's just take a row. Cool. I didn't realize that this was doubling as a glow ink sack farm. That's cool. I don't know if I have many of those. Let's take half a stack or a quarter of a stack. Now, vines. We don't have an actual vine farm here. I guess, has that been moved? I forgot that you get vines from mangrove as well as from jungle i wonder what's easier to harvest the vines from i would imagine jungle so we, oh there's a vine farm but it doesn't work of course because we've turned off the vine growth i forgot how well lit this place is Yeah, jungle or mangrove trees for sure. But I'm just wondering what gives you easier vines to harvest. Oh, I can't walk away mad. I need um I need the pumpkins from the pumpkin farm. And I'm curious. I should check the greenhouse first. I want to see if the pumpkins have been overflowing as designed. I don't know if they are. So all of our farms, we've got a wheat farm, two carrot farms, and a potato farm, uh, as well as a melon farm and a pumpkin farm. And they all have uh, a waterway that goes underneath the meadows and they file into this greenhouse because originally we were planning on trading them with the farmers to get emeralds. And then people just haven't been playing in this area very much. So pumpkins. Oh boy. Yeah. Solid. That's good. So I'm going to grab 
uh, two stacks of seeds and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I need that many? I probably don't need that many. Let's go with that many. So that's been done. Got the logs and the saplings. So then it's paper, azalea moss, and vines. Glad I checked over here. Because the idea is that the farms themselves actually fill up first before they overflow into um, into the greenhouse. But if you take from the farm, then it just it has to fill up again before it continues. Mangrove tend to be more supported because the leaves are dense. Makes it slightly easier to harvest. My mangroves? So... Mangroves are more supported. Wouldn't the wouldn't the support be wouldn't a jungle tree be more supported in terms of vine growth? I have no idea how good this farm is performing. Survey says not very. That's, that's not even enough to really warrant taking. So this is the pumpkin farm here. This was, I think, one of the first videos I ever made. Was redoing the pumpkin farm so it fills up to just one shy and then it gets emptied into the farm but you can hear the water and you can see some of the redstone down there i think i've got access over oh you know what it's in the basement of the house that's a melon farm and that's a pumpkin farm and it shoots it into the water and then the water stream takes it all the way down here and then it gets emptied out into the main water stream which goes all the way to the greenhouse that was really fun to set up really simple you don't have to decorate it it's just meant to be something functional underneath hey look Melons in action. All right, gutter pumpkins. So now it's, I saw some vines over there, so we'll harvest those. Oh, I'll need shears to do that. I also may have vines in here somewhere. Nope. That's surprising. Once upon a time, of course, we used vines to um, to create your mossy cobble. I think we need a better sugarcane farm for paper access. Jungle vines dangle so uh, easier to shear high and lose them. Yeah, but that's not what you want. You don't want to shear high on... Like, you don't want that situation. You want this situation, right? That's the whole idea. It's funny because that this post was probably decorated with a vine and not meant to be on all sides. So we can actually maybe just trim it up a bit. I'm okay with just collecting a little bit of this from the bottom here.
Yeah, mangrove are not the easiest thing to uh, to harvest anything from, really. I don't use a lot of vines, but I think it's worth getting at least a stack if we can get the stack without having to grow our own. We should be good. That's close enough. By the time we get around this whole tree, that should be enough. Yeah, I would imagine a um, a jungle tree that you're planning on cutting down anyway would probably be a better way to get vines. You know what? This looks easy enough. Let's uh just grab this one. So funny, I don't normally harvest vines or anything in shaders. So it's really funny how just even like looking up, it's it's almost kind of like your your brain kind of thinks about it the same way that you would like looking up into the sky on a summer's day. Like I'm not squinting, but like I have that kind of strange like head tilt that just naturally happens when you look up into a bright sky. That's at least a stack, has to be. Stack and a half. These were probably put there deliberately. Okay, we'll leave that. That's vines done. Don't care about the leaves, we can leave those for somebody else. So we need azalea and moss and paper. I think we only get saplings from the moss farm. And there's no leaves here. I don't need flowering. I just wanted to, I wanted to top up my other azalea bits. Then it's just moss that we need. A really odd spot for that horse. I don't think there's anything. No paper. I'll just sleep and then we can move on. Uh, thanks for the backlight info. Oh, no problem, Dan. Happy to help. Did you end up picking up something from Govee? The T2. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head which model that is. Man, I'm having the worst issue with some of my um, wireless chargers. Normally, IKEA does good stuff, but there we go. I try to keep my phone charged while I'm streaming. Um, the T2. Go VT2. I want to look that up. Uh... Okay, so the TV, TV backlight, nice. 
Oh, I see. Cool. TV backlight T2. Nice. So just a simple camera. Uh, remind me, Dan, uh, ping me later in the Discord and I'll send you a photo of how I set up my... Uh, that was jarring. Move it. Why are you here? You're a horse. You belong to somebody. Like, you've got a saddle on. You're not mine. Oh, it's because I've got the carrots in my hand. That's probably what it is. Okay. Uh, there's no... I don't think there's any paper down that way. Or I guess I should say sugar cane. Uh, yeah, so um, all I did, like, it's not fancy, but I've seen some cool videos where people... You know that... You know those things where people have, like, rocks actually we can trim these now so it doesn't slow you down when you walk through here oh that's much nicer um i forgot about the villager head hmm. uh so you know those kind of kitschy home decor things where it's like a basket full of marbles or rocks and stuff so essentially this guy on YouTube I watched, he flipped the camera for the GoV system upside down and instead of attaching it to the bottom of his TV, oh, that's not good. Why are you over here? I wonder if our iron farm is not working. Um... Instead of attaching it to the TV, oh yeah, we've got iron golems spawning outside the farm. That sucks. I don't know where it was before, so I can't tell you whether it's been working or not working. Um, is there... All right, I need... Is there no ender chest here? Uh, this is May 23rd. Iron arm test marker. We'll see if any iron goes past that point. If it doesn't, then we know it doesn't work. But my guess is that with an iron golem hanging outside the farm, it is not working correctly. It's an old farm that we've had to adapt like three or four times, so I'm not surprised. Also not the end of the world. We obviously have enough for everyone on the server. I can put these away. So we do need more regular saplings. How are we doing for carpet? Definitely low on carpet as well. Not that it matters. I know we can just make it, but I use it so much. It's a lot easier. Do it this way. Oh, wow. Might have to turn the moss farm on again soon. I imagine it's mostly me that's using it too. Should this not be... Oh, we've got two rows. Okay, so there's two double chests. That's fine. That's not bad. So we just have to grow the azalea the old-fashioned way, I guess.
Did you get asked why you bought them? You, I mean, you put them behind a TV, did you not? Or is it behind a computer? I mean, the set is usually for like a big 55 inch TV. The annual switch on of the moss farm. Yeah, even a small scale Il Mango farm does the server for like a year. Wild. Still get caught up on that a little bit. Let's trim these back too. I was like, what does that go to? But it's just a just a torch. Missing a trapdoor there. Not very often you get to walk into spawn town on the citadel. Does not happen all that much. So I think the only thing that I'm low on is paper. And what I can do is I can probably just build myself a little redstone sugarcane farm. For when I get back. Maybe I should just make sure. I think I've got sugarcane. But let's just bring back just like a half stack or even just 16 would be enough. This is the Citadel, as says the name in the title of the video. That should be enough. I think I have some somewhere, but I'm not sure. I guess I should be eating these, really. Cool. Well, let's go back. Uh, we're coming up on seven years on the Citadel. <laughs> and that's both for me and the age of the of the server, because I started it. Myself and Alistair were the first two people online. Yeah, unlike a lot of SMPs, we don't reset. We just... Keep on going. I think that was all I needed. Oh, you know what? There's a sugarcane farm in the modern city. What am I doing? I don't even need to grow anything. Should be right over here. I say modern city. It's the start of a modern city. Beautiful. Got some chickens. Hmm. Wonder why. I guess you've just followed in here and you continue to lay eggs into the system because you're being helpful. Perfect. Oh, I forgot that this was here. Oh, that's not going to be enough room. All right, that's fine. Glad I remembered that the last minute. What do you do when Mojang updates? No, we don't reset any chunks. We just um, 
I mean, we do if it was a big problem, but lately we've just been expanding as it goes. A lot of people have long-term projects, so they're not looking to kind of reset their own areas. There were some tight chunk trims. Yeah, Elkhorn is right. We did some ch tight chunk trimming for things like um, the 118 update. And most of that was just to eliminate those weird chunk borders. It wasn't so much for we want content closer and more we just don't want our wor world to have weird skyscraper chunks in it. So I used uh, MCA selector, I think is the name of the program. The only thing that we reset on a regular basis is the outer end islands, but I think a lot of servers do that. And even then I can't see us doing that a whole lot more once we have a shulker farm built on the server. It's probably just not going to be an issue. Or did you mention the sugar cane cosmic? Sorry, I didn't catch it. Oh, I see it now. My bad. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we get to walk into morning in the West Hill Valley with the new lilac farmstead on the horizon. We definitely need something over here to balance it out. There needs to be just a little bit of little point of interest right in that area, I think. I do like these shaders most of the time, but my gosh, they're bright sometimes. That's a cool shot. I like that you can see the archway from down here too. I might actually do more to make that look fancier. It would be really cool to put like a hanging sign or something there with a lilac on it as if someone had painted like a lilac sign. That could be fun. Yeah, so something here, I think that would be visible from that bridge, I think would be good. Just something to kind of fill in this space. I'm not sure what. I guess maybe a house could be here. I think I mentioned that last time. Yeah, we could do maybe a house back here. I think having another path, maybe a path sneaking up this side could be good. I don't know. There's definitely room for a house there. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thank you very much. Yes, we'll put some of this stuff away. I do find campfires quite loud sometimes. Uh, what shader pack is this? Not Silders. It's... Oh. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. BSL. And not the newest. It's like the one that I have set up for all my options. That should do us for quite some time. Dark oak. Vines. 
Pines and Dark Oak Saplings. Oh gosh, I had tons of those. Vines. Good stuff. Don't think I really need the sugar cane. I think I have a spot for it over here somewhere. Yeah, I already had some. I'm just going to leave these in here for now. Unless I have spots for them over here. Pumpkins. Okay. Top those up. Probably don't need two sets of mushrooms. One thing that's definitely happening before I get into the next project is a complete shulker box overhaul. Where do I keep my glow ink sacks? Uh, and that's going to help me, I think, in the long run. There they are. That would be a kind of a, a, a super chill stream would just be like hanging out. It would almost be like a let's chat where I would just hang out and uh, go through and organize all the shulkers and stuff. Don't need two of those in there. Satchel, moss, applesauce, and azalea. Clink. Perfect. Back in working order. Only took a little bit, but I think it's a good, good call. So if you're new to the stream, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another glass of water. You can, of course, uh, get yourself a snack. Maybe even tell a friend that we're streaming. The more eyeballs on the stream, the better. And the more people that watch, the more often I can do this. So uh, I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Ancients, thanks very much for the raid. What were you up to on stream today? Appreciate you bringing your viewers over. If you are new from the raid or just new in general, my name is Joel Duggan and this is the Citadel server. And I guess we don't need shaders on anymore. We were doing a little walk around. Uh, we were gathering some materials and fetching different things because we want to work on a new farmstead, I think, is what the next mission is. We've got this area out front here that requires a little TLC. And I'm trying to think about what I could do to complement a pumpkin farm. I really want to try to figure out what we can do with the wall to make it different. So we've got this area here. And this is what is going to become the pumpkin farm. I don't know if I want to keep the pond. I left it there just because it was naturally there. But I feel like I might want to actually remove this. I, I also feel like I feel like this is a little bit far away from the road. I might try and I know I know I moved it back, but I kind of think I might want to bring it tighter to the road. Sweep it along out here somehow. Also, it's going to need some more openings. Right now, the only opening is just this one over here. Mostly digging around the nether tunnel as well as digging a single layer in the slime farm. Oh, cool. Those those are fun streams. Just the monotasking. Like, we're just digging today, folks. It has to get done. Might as well hang out and talk while we do it. I like that kind of stuff. Void trading for quartz blocks. What is void trading? Yeah, this is fine here. I just feel like we could probably push it a little bit larger. It just it feels strange. Yeah, I kind of wonder whether this should have more of a more of a shape that kind of goes outside this way. If I do that, it might affect where I put the house too. Plus we could then do something cool over here or maybe the two farm walls actually meet. Like maybe there'd be a shared wall between these two places. That would make a lot of sense. We could bring this right up to the edge here. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just go get some cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. Probably some dirt and grass as well. We'll just move some stuff around. that's all we need I'm curious about using uh, hay bales maybe as part of the roof I could have sworn that I had more hay bales as blocks somewhere I guess not what does bamboo look like next to hay bales? Do they match? Hard to tell down here. Probably not. A little bit too green. Anybody else think hay bales are a bit expensive? 
feel like the crafting recipe is just a little bit a little bit much and what would we build the house out of so one of the things that i um i like to do is use my pinterest board for um for reference And that is not centered. Hold on. What is going on there? That's better. So yeah, I've got this Pinterest board. This is the one that we kind of used as inspiration for um, the Lilac Farmstead. This is too tall, I think, for what I want, for where it is. Although I'll double check when we go out there. I like the idea of either like this, the farm that's kind of like dug into the ground a little bit. Uh, so low profile with a wheat roof, maybe. I think that would complement the orange of the pumpkins pretty well. And then I also like this one, although that's a little bit tall for what I want as well. A lot of these are probably going to be too big for what I want. That's obviously some sort of baker or blacksmith. I like the house shape. We don't have to keep the furnace or the kiln on the outside. So many of these art pieces, like when you go looking up concept art for medieval houses, so many of them are blacksmiths. It's like... The default motif. Let's just do a search. Just to see. Zero results. Wow. Oh, it's searching within my pins. I don't. I really don't like the way that all pins. Pinterest is terrible. Um, medieval. Um, farm house, I guess. Lots of Minecraft stuff, not surprisingly. The Lego one's pretty cool. Like the little angled roof. Houses. Oh, that's cool. I tend to try to not save Minecraft builds. I usually try to go with stuff that's beyond Minecraft so I can interpret it on my own. But when you see something that you like, why not? Nothing here really jumping out at me. We don't have any real gray blocks i guess i could maybe make it out of acacia logs the roof that could be interesting i sort of want to try to do an orange roof but i don't want to copy the orange roof that i already have in the neighborhood right all right nothing too much jumping out at me there How do I get back? All right, so we added a few new ones across the top. This is pretty cool. Jungle wood and um, granite in the roof. Huh. All right. Any 
and diorite and clay in the main. Sometimes I just use them for palette inspiration. I like the um, composters in the roof too. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's kind of between these two and I think the diorite one is an interesting idea too. All right, see if my stream deck is going to listen to me. Nope. Stream deck and OBS are not talking today and it's a real pain. One with the water, one with the water mill? Oh, I didn't see that one. Uh, jungle wood, granite, maybe mud bricks. Uh, I don't know if the jungle, the mud bricks would really go. You'd pr probably be doing uh, better off with um, like real bricks, like regular bricks. I think what we need to focus on now is just a different layout. Oh, I forgot pumpkins. Whoops. Kind of important in a pumpkin farm. work well on a gradient instead of a texture yeah that's true you got to remember too like i'm working at a very small scale this is probably going to be the same size or smaller than the lilac farmhouse so it's not even going to be that big so it's got a gradients are not necessarily something that you can do when you've only got a four block high roof Where do I want to set up? Let's go over here. That, that. I've got grass, dirt, moss, coarse dirt. Cobblestone, tough. I don't think there's anything in the satchel. And green stuff. Whoops. All right, so we'll grab some of this. And might as well grab a couple pumpkins as well. I also want to double check and refresh my memory what pumpkins look like when they grow. I've got a special texture pack on the pumpkin stems, I want to say. Because they tend to be planted in patches, right? Right. So what I'm thinking is that this corner right here just feels like it should naturally go with the road so I'm thinking we come across here
like that and then actually just revert like just take all of this out right and instead of curving from here maybe we'll go back up Maybe not that far. So then this whole property have a different shape. I might have gone too far there. Yeah, let's use this one. Yeah, and then we can come along here and maybe do like two, three, four, five. That might be a little bit too even. Yeah. See, at this point, we probably want to start to curve it too. Sort of getting there. I feel like this curve is just a little bit too strange off the the edge here, but we could always push that out a little farther. Yeah, I don't know how much that doesn't really make sense. And now that's two straight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think I wanted to go right up to the edge. Man, as much as I like animals giving life to the situation, they all seem to walk right in your face.
still feels a little straight. But we can maybe have a little bit of a nuance here. And then pull that there. That feels a little bit better. I don't think I brought a bed. Do, 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 do. I think I've got one in here. Yes. Pumpkin cow. It would be really cool and weird if you could turn the cows in Minecraft just because it's a weird Minecraft cartoony game into different kinds of plant cows carrot cow pumpkin cow potato cow or if they allowed like some animals to be some vegetables and some animals had to be other vegetables you know it'd be funny yeah it's a little bit larger i maybe pushed it too far So here, I feel like I do want it to follow the road a little bit closer. Maybe not that close. I feel like that's a little bit better. Yeah, and then I'll just kind of push these to naturally come together. Again, this feels a little bit wide. That feels like enough room to get by, which is fine. Because this is another spot where we could have another path, just like we have over there. Like this could be a nice little path that could take you down to the river, right? Because it would make sense, I think. Plus, then you'd have a really cool viewing place, the waterfall and stuff, the runoff. Yeah, let's uh, put that idea down here. So you see what I mean? I think that would make a lot of sense. Obviously, we'll make that look, you know, a lot better in the long run. And that could nudge the wall left or right either way. So that's good to do. And then... What can we do with this side? Part of a mod called Friends and Foes that you've played with before, says Cosmic. Uh, not just the Moo Bloom that was not voted in, but a flower cow for every flower. Oh, neat. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Just kind of taking an idea from Mojang and running with it, right? 
So what I like about this is that it's not, uh, it's a little bit more organic looking and this is starting to feel like an arena, like it's starting to feel very round. So I think what I need to do here is actually lean into the path idea. And we'll go like that. It's a little straight. That feels a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit more organic. I like that. And then maybe we can kind of scoop it in a bit. That's probably a good idea too. Yeah, I think I like that better. Um, well, that still feels like kind of a very round edge we might want to come back here Delara, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Pretty chill afternoon here. We're just kind of working on some ideas for this pumpkin farm. Thanks for the sub. 33 months, Delara. That's amazing. How does that look? I think I like that a little bit better, although I lose the wall between the two farms if I do that. I guess the important thing is that I don't need that house to stay there. I can move it. It doesn't have to be a permanent thing. But I like that overall shape better. I think it's going to give us more to work with. And I may not rip up this wall just yet. I might, um, I might just drop it into the ground because we might have a good way to do, like a like a tier maybe. There could be some more landscape coming our way. Like having this section here. As a, a drop.
Oh, Pix finished the um, the hole. Very cool. He was talking about that on the podcast on Monday. Good old spawn chunks. That's going to feel really straight. Yeah. So one thing here is that there could be another entrance here, right? That might be worth considering. Man, you get really spoiled with the saturation of golden carrots. Just for today, I was trying to munch on this stack of baked potatoes, but I find them just eating constantly. So yeah, so this could be a potential entrance if we wanted it to be. I do like this as as the main entrance, perhaps. I don't think there'd be an entrance on this side. No, I feel like... Yeah. I feel like this would want to be wall all the way around. So I think that's an improvement over the weird kind of arrowhead shape we had before. Maybe here we can come in a bit. Yeah, that might work. This might not stay quite so close. It might be worth pushing this back a bit. That would probably curve the other way. So something like that could maybe work. And then as far as like the pumpkin patches and stuff go, again, I'm not sure if I'm keeping this pond. I feel like it would be nice to be able to come up here and have like pumpkin patch and pumpkin patch on either side of you. I think that would look neat. And this is just rough. I don't know how I would do this. My guess is that I'm probably going to plant 
a couple of pumpkins and then manually place the others. I feel like that could be a neat experience, right? It's very bright on the map, but come up here and you walk through the patch to get to the house. I feel like if that's the case, I might swing the house a little bit. We have to think about eye lines and stuff too coming down from up here. So yeah. The house exactly where it is may not be the best idea. We're gonna have to mess around with that a little bit. But you can kind of see how quickly an area can go from very little as far as an idea goes to working on something um, a little bit more concrete, a little bit more I'm not sure, just like, not the, not realistic. It's not the word I'm looking for. Functional purpose, something with purposeful. Purposeful is what I'm looking for. So it's gonna hide the wheat farm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wanna bump this farther back. I don't think this is gonna be exactly the right spot for this. Now this is just rough. You know that might not look too bad. I like that I like that the point kind of goes between the barn there and the deep slate house there. It's on we're the same color, so I might want to change the color. I don't know if we're gonna be using the hay bale. That's just kind of what I brought with me. Oh, scaffolding is really handy like that. If you need something to place blocks against, or if you want to quickly scope out a build, like it's it's very um, quick to to put up. So like if you wanted to get in here and just bang out, you know, a roof. Oops. Right. And then once you get up here. Obviously it has its limitations. Right. But you very quickly see, you know, it's going to cover up most of the pumpkins there. And it's going to overlap, but not uh, completely cover the house behind it. So you'll be able to see the smoke. You'll be able to see the smokestack. Again, the only issue that I have right now is that it's it's very similar to the thing that's behind it. But like, that's a small, small thing. It only lasts a second. I'm not in love with the shape. I think we'll make this a little bit more interesting. Um, because this is the, the main view of it, I kind of want to have the house face the other way. So right now this path feels very much like you're walking up to the front of the house. 
I feel like it might be better to have this be the front of the house and have a path go off this way. And that's a matter of like, maybe we move the, the pond, you know, like maybe, maybe this path here needs to happen more like here, right? You pop up here and you walk through the pumpkin patch to the front door here. Like just a simple shift. And again, it goes wide because of what I didn't move the pond. M, thanks very much for the prime sub. 13 months, lucky 13. Thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I like the idea of the front door being out this way. All right, well, let's move this wall then, because this is not staying here. Now instead, this might spin off from here. See, I gotta eat again. It only lasts like 10 minutes. Yeah. I think that's got some character now. I think it's got a rough plan and again i'm not sure about the double wall here at the back i'm just not removing it in case it inspires an idea later but we can always remove it later before we do the final design of things but i think if you're coming in from this direction yeah i mean maybe it's going to be a good idea to have the pond over here right maybe we could have the pond there and have it drain off into the river that would make sense it would give a more interesting thing here to look at. I think that's better than having pumpkins everywhere. Because I want to have a variety, just like I did over here. You want to switch things up, right? Oh, cool, Em. That's great. I'm glad that uh, that Pix got the project done. It will be cool to hear about it on the Spawn Trunks on Monday. We've got a bunch of really cool stuff to talk about on Monday, actually. Some announcements. Yeah, I think we did okay. Pretty, pretty early stages, but I can see the potential. I'm definitely going to have to look up a little bit more for reference for the house. And I'm not convinced to not do wheat i like i like the idea of it looking a little bit more low-key um but i'm not in love with the shape of the house so i don't want to start messing with textures too much because like really the shape of it is not what i want uh i might try to go with something more in an angle like that would be cool if we do use these then i'm definitely gonna have to have that style of roof where uh, you can see in the distance here, the edge is taller than the actual block roof. I haven't done one of those in a while, so that could be kind of fun. And it does help it look more barn-like, I guess, in terms of its its stature. Not as fancy as this one here, but still something that probably looks good. 
So we'll work on that. Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to wrap things up. We're going to pass you along to, I believe, Megabyte is still live. Yes. I'll refresh my channels just to make sure. Megabyte is lovely and awesome. Sure, you will have a very good time. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with the Lego stream at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's uh, negative 4 hours UTC. So uh, set your alarms and time zones accordingly. You can uh, check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast as well as the Citadel Cafe podcasts. They're both free wherever you get your podcasts. And you can follow me here on Twitch and social media at Jola Duggan. I'm very easy to find. And don't forget Patreon. Uh, thanks to everyone that supported today with Prime subs, uh, Tier 1 subs, uh, raids, bits. Really appreciate it. But Patreon is one of the best ways to support. It's uh, only $2 a month, less than a cup of a coffee. And you get to keep me streaming. And you get to join the Discord through the Patreon. So win-win all around. Check it out. Patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.